The XT30 is the smaller brother of the popular XT60 connector, and once you get one of them in your hand, you notice how tiny this plug really is. In fact, it's comparable in size to a JST that you find on toy drones. I've seen people question the capabilities of this connector, so to answer these questions, I'm Mark from Drone Lab, and this is everything you need to know about the XT30 connector. The XT30 shares the same design as the other mass connectors. The cylindrical brass contacts hold the two pieces very strongly together, while the solder cups at the back allow you to easily make a very good electrical connection. Be careful when ordering one though, since there's also a PCB mount version that doesn't have these solder cups and has straight pins instead. The official datasheet specifies a maximum current of 30 amps, but here at Drone Lab we prefer to test things ourselves. We confirm that with a little bit of airflow, the XT30 can handle 30 amps and not get too hot. But for racing drones, it's more important to measure short term high current bursts or punches. Here we have an XT30 being punched at 60 amps, and as you can see, Nine, 10. Oh, it broke loose! The solder connection melts after just over 10 seconds. This test at 75 amps confirms our initial suspicion. Notice how there's smoke being emitted at the entire length of the wire and how the solder failed at both ends. This means that it's the wire that's getting hot, not the connector. Even though we used 18 gauge wire, exactly as recommended by the manufacturer of the XT30. At this point we switched to a slightly thicker wire, 16 gauge, that fits just perfectly and tried 60 amps again. It held perfectly. And then 75 amps. It held for 9 seconds before majestically desoldering. For the sake of comparison, let's have a quick look at how the JST handles around 60 amps. Not very well. Not very well at all. But even at a little lower currents, like 20 amps that the JST can handle, you might prefer the XT30. And that's because of the contact resistance. At 20 amps, the resistance in the JST will cause a voltage drop of 0.2 volts just across the connector itself, so that's quite a significant sag. The XT30 at the same current will only cause 31 millivolts to drop, so much, much less. Of course the bigger XT60 is even better than that, so at around 50 amps you might want to actually consider that. Speaking of sizes, at 1.6 grams the XT30 is much lighter than the XT60, and if you include the weight of the wires, you can save as much as 10 to 15 grams by switching down from a 60 to a 30. With all that being said, I would recommend using the XT30 with 16 gauge wire on drones that take up to 60 amps when in full punch. That's going to be all the smaller drones with up to 3 inch propellers or up to 1306 motors. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye.